Hey everyone, my name is Matt, I'm from TurlMTG and welcome to Magic Madhouse today. And today I'm opening up a very, very special product here. New with the Zendikar Rising, we got the new Commander deck. These are, the, you know, very good value Commander decks. Now this one's called Sneak Attack. There was another one as well called Land's Wrath, which I opened up on my personal channel. So make sure you head over there after watching this video. If you want to go and see that unboxed as well, there'll be links in the description. But we're going to have a look at Sneak Attack. So it's rogues other rogues you control get plus one one that is what the vampire rogue and a one the ruin thief does so we'll have a little look at the back you get that legendary foil there um it tells you a little bit about the deck seeds power once more choose your commander and overcome both friend and foe defeat them in this magic the gathering format and it gives you a list of like three top cards that are in the deck as well there and lets you know there's a hundred card deck with three new cards you get three new cards in both of these products as well you get a deck box and you get 10 double-sided token cards which is cool you also get a life will a strategy insert and a reference guide so let's get a look into the box and have a look hopefully i won't struggle too much now these are aimed you know perfectly aimed for new players to command a beginners to the format it's a great format and for the price of these these are really good to get i think you know after having a look at the first box i can tell you these products are you know they're super cool so let's have a look at that and i'm just not saying that um so let's have a little look we go through here we got a little bit of tokens and we've got a commander that we'll look at in a minute but first of all what we'll look at is what's inside here so you get your deck box um which is a, you know it's a cardboard deck box very nice so if you're new to the game you're going to get this deck box to put your deck in as well you could also upgrade these have a look on the magic madness website there's lots of great deck boxes there you get a life look at that little life counter so if you haven't got dice you start the game on 40 life and has there and you just cozy worse down and hopefully you won't be knocking it down too much because you want to be winning that game don't you uh here we go so this is a little guide that you have here it tells you a little bit about sneak attack um sediments around zendikar alawan was renowned as a benevolent mage oh i like that benevolent mage so it gives you a little bit of background which is really cool on anawim and then you go to the other side of this as well and it gives you a breakdown of you know basically if you're learning to play if you're a new player to the game it tells you you start with 40 life it tells you you know your commander can attack an opponent if it does 21 damage they lose the game so you attack for 40 life with regular creatures and obviously your yeah, one will do the damage as well but the commander damage is another way you can win the game as well it will start off in the command zone and move to the battlefield and you get what's called tax so every time it does die and then goes back and forward you have to pay an additional two so with our commander cost two a black and a blue uh, for the first time the second time it would cost that plus two then an additional two each time it goes to the command zone and comes back so let's have a look what's inside so first off let's have a look at our commander it's anno one the ruined thief vampire rogue and it's a nice foil there and it's a two four for two a black and a blue so this will pump up our other rogues rogues control get plus one one Whenever one or more rogues you control do combat damage to a player, that player mills a car for each one damage dealt to them. Oh, it's got mill. Now, I love mill. So, yep, sorry about that, but I do love mill. So this is a great commander for me. If the player mills at least one creature card this way, you get to draw a card. Wow, that, that is actually super strong. Wow, and a win. That is, um, yeah, great. Uh, so first of all, let's have a look at these tokens that you get in there as well. And then we'll move on for a quick look through the deck. So these are all double-sided tokens. Um, so you get fairy rogues. What else do we get? Fairy rogues, fairy rogues, fairy rogues. Okay, we get a lot of fairy rogues. So we'll obviously be needing a lot of fairy rogues. We've got thopters there. Anything else? We've got goblin rogues as well. And we've got, oh, we've got rat. Nice rat token there. And we get a germ as well. So that gives you an idea of the type of creatures that we'll be able to make in the deck. So let's get in now and have a little look. Where is it? Where is it? Am I this you know this is the time where you sort of go in there and you edit stuff out because you can't get in there and it's embarrassing. But we've managed to get in there. Sweet. Right, and that, that wasn't too bad an effort either. Um, so we're going to go down here. I'm just going to separate some of these. And so 
so I don't drop all the cards. Um, but first of all, we're going to have a look at it. And you do get a plethora of rares in this, which is really, really cool. Uh, this has Prowl. And I'm looking at this deck for the first time as well. So, you know, these cards, I'm not going to know what's in the deck. So I like doing unboxings that way. Uh, Prowl is you may cast this spell for its Prowl cost if you dealt combat damage to a player this turn with a Sphinx or a Rogue. So if we do that, we get to play it for four instead of seven. When it ends the battlefield for each opponent, return it to one target non-land non -land permanent they control. That is that is pretty strong. Um, then we've got Whisper Steel Dagger. This was one of the featured cards, I think, on the back. Um, equipped creature gets plus two, plus naught. When it deals combat damage to a player, you may cast a creature spell from that player's graveyard. So you're doing the mill effect, which is putting cards into opponents' graveyards, and then Whisper Steel, you know, be able to cast it. Very, very good. Now, I will say, in these decks... For the value of the cost they are, you're getting some really powerful cards. And it's definitely, you know, worth buying them as well because you're getting some cards that are worth, you know, a fair bit of money as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Scourger Fleets. So I love it when they put these products out there. And then, you know, it gets new players into the game, which is really good. And then you're getting, you know, a good product for it as well. Uh, Fated Return for Triple Black. Put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under control. Gains indestructible. And you get to scry. You know, expensive card, but cool. Gonti. Oh, Gonti is a smashing, smashing card. I have this actually as a commander in a mono black deck. So you will get um, cards in here of legendary creatures that perhaps, you know, once you've played the deck, you've had fun with it. If you do want to update it, you know, there's, there's the new boosters, set boosters that can obviously update this as well. But buying singles, which you can do for Magic Madness as well, is really cool because, you know, that's a good way to up, to, you know, upgrade your decks. Um, but you seem to get a lot of cool cards here as well. Ogre Slumlord, all about non-token and using the rats. Night Towler. Um, I'm not even going to try to say that one, so I'm just going to say Primordial um, because, yeah, yeah, yes, me. Consuming Aberration. Power and toughness are equal to the number of cards in your opponent's graveyards. This is cool in like a mill deck as well. It can be as big as anything and it can be really be a massive beta. You can also get Lazarf, Dimir, Mastermind, Hexproof. Um, so like I'm saying that, you know, our commander is blue-black. You could actually make this a commander as well if you wanted to. It's a 3-3. That's Hexproof as well. So Hexproof's going to make this really hard to get rid of. Notion Thief is a nice card. Una is a very good card. Queen of the Fey, really cool. Flying Fairy Wizard, 5-5. Five, five. Uh, pay X and a uh, black or a blue. Choose a color, target opponent, exiles a top card in the library. And for each one, you get to make a Fairy Rogue, which is obviously why, you know, we had a lot of Fairy Rogue tokens. Uh, we got Silicon's Command as well. Spinal Embrace. Uh, cast this spell only during combat. Untap target creature you don't control, gain control of it, it gains haste, and at the beginning of the next end step, sacrifice it, and then you gain life equal to its toughness. That seems really cool. Wow, you do get some cool cards in this. Sig River Cutthroat as well. Um, I think this is actually worth a little bit of dollar, you know. At the beginning of each end step, if an opponent lost three or more life this turn, you may draw a card. Yet again, can be used as a commander, and you wouldn't need to change... You know, you might need to adapt the deck a bit more and add some new cards, but because of the colour of it, you could actually replay that as well. Um, Black Blade Reforged. Then you get Bone Horde as well. Obelisk of Erd, six mana convoked. Choose a creature type. Obviously, we could choose rogues potentially. And all those creatures get plus two, two, which is, you know, that's really cool. Sky of Claw. And then you get on there. But like I said, look, I mean, look, look at the rares you get. That is pretty, pretty decent for what you're getting in, in, you know, for the money. I think that is really, really decent. You know, some won't be as, you know, some aren't well beaters, but they're still really nice cards. Um, Etherize in there, so let's have a little um, breeze through some of these as well. Fact or Fiction is a you know is an absolute staple in Commander, so you get picking up some good cards there as well. Invisible Stalker, if you can build this up, unblockable, hexproof, very very nice card. Um, River Prowler, Master Thieves, so you've got a lot of rogues here, so very you know on theme with the deck. Uh, whenever you attack with two or more creatures, draw a card. Military intelligence, very nice for an uncommon card. Um, going through open to wonder as well. Another can't be blocked rogue creature. Very nice, can't be blocked. You can see what this is all about, can't you? So, you know, this is when, you know, when you look at our commander, get rid of that bit of there. Uh, whenever one or more rogues you can do combat damage to a player, they mill. So we've got unblockable rogues. 
get that through. Mill the cards, one damage dealt. If it's a creature card, draw a card. Synergy here is really, really strong. And, you know, you may be about to add spells as well to make stuff unblockable if you did want to do that, like I said, when eventually you want to upgrade these products. Um, so Conrad, oh, people hate that card. People are, you know, if you're playing, people always try and kill that one first, without a doubt. People just don't like it. Um, and then we get a couple of spells at the back. You get some really good staples. Arcane Signet as well, Commander Sphere. And you get a Soul Ring as well. And you get a Soul Ring. So that is, you know, Mind Stone as well. You get some, this is some, you know, powerful magic staples for Commander. Um, so very good value, certainly in them. Uh, but have a little look at the lands here as well. Uh, Command Tower uh, is nice. Dimir Aqueduct, Guildgate. Now, lands obviously can be upgraded over time. These lands are going to be playable for you to play. You know, this deck is playable straight out of the box, which is great for new players and everything like that. So it's, you know, it's the perfect kind of product for that. Sure-footed Infiltrator and Murphot Windrobber. Been playing that in recent standard. It's really cool. Um, and you get another one from recent standard, well, from Zendikar, which is Soaring Thief, Thief as well. So obviously the new cards just there. Um, and then you get some islands, any other lands in there, swamps as well. So you get a lot of basics here. And then you just get, you know, a, a card that tells you about the phases, begin, main phase, combat, main phase, end, which is cool because if you've never played it before, this is perfect for you. Just have a little brief through and, um, you know, your phases. Um, but yeah, this is the deck. I think, uh, you know, it's a really, really cool card. Uh, and I win the Ruin Thief. Definitely worth checking out. Um, this seems like a really good product to me. You're getting some really good staples. You're definitely getting a lot of rares. And it's it's a deck that you can upgrade over time. There's definitely a lot of decent rogues in the format of Commander. So you can definitely, you know, go and have a look at that. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing over here on Magic Madhouse. Check the links all below in the description. And if you want to go and have a look at my channel as well, like I said at the start, you can go and have a look at the other unboxing. That will be a link below. Um, you can check Total MTG out on all socials as well. YouTube, Twitter, all of that. There'll be links in the description. But anyway, you lot take care and I'll see you on the next video.